Amy came first, her innocence was my curse, her purity shook me from my slumber. Wendy was second, her curiosity beckoned and intensified the spell that I was under. Throwing caution to the wind, I let them suck me in. I've always had a weakness for the young. But like two carnivorous crows, they stripped the meat from the bones and plucked out my eyes when they were done. Oh, those vixens, they left me in tatters. Yeah, they shattered my manhood and they spat me out in a million pieces and scattered me to the wind. Oh, Lord, I admit I have sinned. But please don't trick me with fixing hands again. Mentor, big brother, kind uncle, surrogate mother, I carved out a safe and trusted role. I was sure that over time, both would be mine when their crush on me grew impossible to control. But I miscalculated those two calculating ladies, and I wound up getting crushed instead. Blinded by my lust, I could not see that I was just a video game character in their heads. Oh, those victims, they left me in tatters. Yeah, they shattered my manhood and spat me out in a million pieces and scattered me to the wind. Oh, Lord, I admit I have sinned. But please don't trick me with Vixens again. No, please don't trick me with Vixens again. Well, they invited me for dinner. As cooks, they were beginners. But I was glad to be their guinea pig. Amy poured the wine, and Wendy never looked so fine. I sensed this night was headed for something big. But when we cleared the table, I found out where they say three is so unstable as a number. They went off to a club together and sent me home alone where forever I can only wonder why those vixens, they left me in tatters. Yeah, they shat my manhood. They spat me out in a million pieces and scattered me to the wind. Oh, Lord, I admit I have sinned. But please don't trick me with fixing hands again. No, please don't trick me with fixing hands again. Humiliated and defeated, I wrote them off, then I retreated to my previous unexciting existence. But boredom is a fright, so when they both showed up one night, I couldn't muster no resistance. They apologized and pleaded my forgiveness, then proceeded to demonstrate the depths of their contrition. All night long we carried on, but when I woke up, they were gone, and that's the last I saw of them Dixie. Were those girls fact or fiction? Was I somehow deluding myself or was it some sort of pathetic apparition? And in all candor, I must confess that to this very day, I'm still haunted by those tricky little wicked witchy vixens. They left me in tatters. Yeah, they shattered my manhood and they spat me out in a million pieces and scattered me to the wind. Oh, Lord, I admit I have sinned, but please don't trick me with fixing hands again. 
No, please don't trick me with big sea hands again. Don't tempt or trick me with big sea hands again. No, 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 no.